the derivative of e to the x squared, so you're going to use the chain rule. That means you're going to do e to the x squared, you copy that, and then you multiply by the derivative with respect to x of x squared. And then you continue, so it's e to the x squared, the derivative of x squared is 2x. By convention, we place this out front, so we have 2x e to the x squared. Let's do another very similar example, so the derivative with respect to x of e to the x cubed. Same principle, so you just copy e to the x cubed, and then you multiply by the derivative with respect to x of the x cubed. That then is going to give you e to the x cubed, and then this becomes by the power rule 3x squared. And then that usually goes out front, so we have 3x squared and then e to the x cubed. This is suggestive of a general pattern that we can apply pretty much every time, which is that the derivative with respect to x of e to the x to the n is, you copy the e to the x to the n, like in this case n is 3, in this case n is 2, and so on. And then you continue, and then you multiply by the derivative with respect to x of the x to the n this way, and then you continue down below, so you have e to the x to the n, and then the derivative of x to the n by the basic power rule is n x to the n minus 1, and then by convention we move this out front, so we get n x and then to the n minus 1 multiplied by e to the x n. Subscribe, like, and share.